Hello YouTube, my name is Nero and today we some Call of Duty Black Ops 3 playing a bit of zombies here on the map The Rise of Draw High. And this is actually my first game on this map with a group. I played it a couple of times when it initially released on the PlayStation 4. I was playing that map solo and I'm very bad at this map solo. It's just, it's a very confusing map. I didn't want to take the time to research it and look up information as to how to do it, where stuff is or anything like that. So I essentially just kind of put it on the back burner and I figured, hey, when it comes out for the Xbox, I'll play it with my friends and I'll try to get a better understanding of how the map plays and just go along that route. That's exactly what I did, and it was actually a lot of fun. This map is freaking amazing. This is my first game, like I said, playing with a group, so we're a little confused at times as to what we should be doing or where we should be going and things like that, but ultimately, it's a pretty fun map. Right now, all I really know about the map is I know where the power is, I know where most of the perks are, I know how to get the bow, which is pretty simple. You just feed the dragons the same way that you would feed the dogs in Mob of the Dead. There's a lot of Mob of the Dead slash Origins references in this map, there's a lot of similarities in the play style as well, and so it's definitely a pretty fun map, and we got to think last night while we were playing we played twice the first game I think we got up to almost like round 20 or something like that and then on the second game we all randomly died like on like round 25 or something which was horrible but while we were playing we all kind of got to thinking we started discussing around the idea and just kind of kicking it back and forth why isn't grief in black ops 3 now I know this is something that a lot of players have discussed, especially since there's a lot of players that play Treyarch games solely for zombies. Why isn't Grief in this game? Grief was an amazing game mode in Black Ops 2. Maybe some of you guys are unaware of what Grief mode was. Maybe you're a newer fan of Call of Duty, or maybe you just haven't really been a zombies fan. So, Grief was a different way for you to play zombies. Now, traditional zombies in Call of Duty says you play with one to four players, and you basically just play survival, right? You try to live out as long as possible, and just try to get to the highest round you can. Well, in Grief, it's kind of that same idea but it's competitive so in grief you play 4v4 so essentially there's going to be two teams of four on the same map now what they do with this is they actually will make it so the map is a little bit smaller and a little bit more confined an example i can give is mob of the dead actually had grief which was fantastic it was one of my favorite things to do i used to actually live stream it like back in 2012 like i would have open lobbies where i would have like my friends foxy on my team and then i would invite in six subscribers and then they would like randomize who's like on what team and whatnot so it'd be myself and Foxy and two subscribers versus four other subscribers, right? And we would play against each other. And in Mob of the Dead, they would essentially block off a lot of the buildings and stuff like that. So you basically were forced to play within this very small version of Alcatraz and you had to really just try to start out survive the other team. It was really fun. I really liked that uh, way of playing because it's just so much different than your typical survival. There's actually like a goal. There's an ending, essentially. It's just last man standing, try to outlive the other team. There's a number of ways you can do this and there's a reason why it's called grief because you can grief the opposing team. One of the things that you can do is block doorways, like stand in doorways, make it so these people can't actually get to where they want to go. There's always this war of attrition as to who's going to open up the doors and whatnot. Like, we're not spending our points. Your team's going to have to spend the points and you can't talk to these people, so you're having these dialogues kind of in your head. But, you know, we're not opening that door. Why would I open that door? You're going to be the one opening that door. We're not spending points. We can live without Juggernaut much longer than you can, and we're not going to open up that door. That's completely up to you guys. You know, so there's a lot of cool things you can do. They also add in some really random elements like sometimes this like meat thing will drop I forget exactly what it's called but it's like a giant piece of meat essentially and you can throw it right and when you throw it that kind of makes all the zombies run towards it kind of similar to a monkey bomb with the exception that it doesn't explode so there's a couple of strategies you could implement with that some people will take that piece of meat and they'll throw it on an opposing member of the enemy team and they will essentially have all the zombies swarming towards them which could get them killed or alternatively it could just kind of make it so their team gets a bunch of kills and therefore their team you know gets a bunch of points and whatnot, which is obviously better for them. The power-ups in grief mode were awesome because let's say an insta-kill drops, it's exclusive to whatever team actually picks up that insta-kill. So if an insta-kill drops and someone on the other team grabs it, their team has insta-kill while we're still taking, you know, the full amount of bullets to actually kill a zombie. It just, it's a very fun and interesting game mode. We have a number of pretty cool maps here in Black Ops 3 Zombies already. We have the Giant, which of course is a remake of Doris from Call of Duty World at War. I think they could kind of split that map off a little bit. The big difficulty, I think, is for a developer to actually section off a portion of the map to actually be played for the game mode grief and exactly what portions of the map would work best for that because sometimes it can be good sometimes it can be bad if you look back to black ops 2 as an example i thought town was a pretty bad map for grief town was a pretty fun zombies map in general but when you played it in grief it was one of those zombie maps that was just
seems so easy for you to play on that those games actually kind of like took a very long time. Like you had to basically play up until like around 12, 13, 14, really before anything actually started getting interesting on that map. But by comparison, if you go to farm, farm was much better for grief, in my opinion, because it was a super tiny map. It was just, if you played transit, it was just the tiny little uh, farm area that was on transit. And that's essentially where you had to play. There was a farmhouse, there was a barn, and there was like a little thing that had like a tractor in it, essentially. And there was like a little tiny little courtyard out in the front, essentially, which was kind of just a little bit of a driveway, I guess. And it just, it was very small. It was very fast paced. It was very hectic. And therefore it was very fun. Like by the time you were on round 10, like things were super hectic because you had so many zombies coming from everywhere. There was no real control of the zombies because you have eight people all in this tiny little area trying to survive against each other. It was really fun. Now, going back to Black Ops 3, we have Shadows of Evil. They could definitely section off portions of that map and make it so we only play within that particular portion of the map. Now, I understand with the way the perks work in that map, they would have to essentially move around some of the perks or make a decision as to what perks we could actually get because some of the grief maps in Black Ops 2, you just wouldn't get Juggernaut. That was just a thing that you couldn't get on that map. You could only have a very limited number of perks depending on what perks they decided you could have on that map, which was a very interesting way to go about things. So they could section off parts of Shadows of Evil. I mean, the entire map is essentially one giant section after another, so they could definitely do something along those lines. The Rise of Draha, the Noob Zombies map that we got with the Awakening DLC, which is now out for all the platforms that it's going to be coming out for, would be another amazing map that you could section off certain portions of the map, then say, all right, here you go. This is where you guys are going to play. These are the perks that are going to be available to you. The box is over there. Pack-a-punch is over there have fun, right? I think that would be pretty cool. I mean, they could do the entire underground section, I suppose, of Drys and Draha, the entire, like, Element 115 area, and, like, the where the Pack-a-Punch is initially, or the teleporters that'll take you to, like, where the rocket is and whatnot. Like, it's just, there's a lot of sections of this map that would work very well for Grief, in my opinion. The only question is, why hasn't Treyarch implemented Grief yet? Like, I don't understand. I, I did some research online just to see what other people are saying about Grief and Black Ops 3, and the only information about Grief and Black Ops 3 that I could find anyway was people asking where it is why is it not here lots of reddit posts lots of forum posts like why is grief not in black ops 3 like i don't understand it was a very fun game mode now i understand that when call of duty makes a new game mode it can either be really good or really bad most of the time right most players will either really warm up to the idea of a new game mode or they'll really just say nah that's not for me but grief was one of those game modes that everybody seemed to warm up to very well now the other game mode they implemented for zombies in black ops 2 was turned. If you guys remember turned, it was an interesting idea. It would allow players to essentially play as the zombies. So let's say, for example, I'm just going to use easy numbers here. So let's say there's four people in a match and all four of you start out as zombies. Now, if you run around through a, this very small map, like for example, I think uh, we were able to play a diner, which was part of transit. You would all run around and the first person to find this bottle, essentially, it was like a little jug bottle. You grab that, suddenly you become human. And then your job as the human is to kill the zombies, which are other players. Every time you get a kill similar to gun game, it was swap out your weapon for another weapon and then you just continue to try to kill the zombies that are being you know played as players and if the zombie actually kills you then they become the player and then they you know go to shooting the zombies and whatnot and every time you kill a zombie you get score and just it was an interesting idea it didn't really catch on i personally didn't like it very much apparently a lot of other people didn't like it very much judging by the fact that it didn't have a lot of people playing it like if you were to look at like grief versus turn you know there'd be like maybe a hundred people playing turned which is awful versus several thousand that were playing grief you know it just people liked grief a lot more it was a lot more interesting of a game mode for me and apparently for everybody else as well and just ultimately i would like that to come to black ops 3 zombies i think that would be pretty fun i think it'd be a great idea in general i think the reason why Treyarch hasn't implemented it yet is because maybe they don't know what sections of the map they would want to section off. Maybe they don't know how exactly they'd like to implement the perks or where they would put the box or any of those things. Like maybe they just don't have an idea of what they want to do with it yet. But I think it would definitely be a very good idea for Treyarch to implement grief mode in zombies in the near future. And I think it would be very cool, and hear me out on this, if they were to do it as just kind of a patch, right? If they were just do an update and call it the grief update, maybe make a little bit of a trailer, right? Saying having a lot of really cool zombie cinematics and stuff like that because the zombie zombie cinematics team over there freaking Treyarch is so good in my opinion like still to this day one of my favorite trailers of any video game ever is the transit trailer from Black Ops 2 if you guys haven't seen that I'll put a link to it down there at the bottom of the video description because I uploaded it way back when it was freaking awesome like I seriously love that trailer even to this day and so have them make a trailer call it grief call it the grief update or something like that and essentially just put grief mode into the game for free make a big deal out of it make a big trailer you know, make a big fuss you know start a countdown like oh it's coming here in in 
two weeks, it's going to be here, you know, and YouTubers like me will make videos of it and uh, get everyone excited for it, I suppose. And then when Grief actually comes out, make it just a free update that people have. They'll buy a lot of community goodwill because you're giving us a free update, which adds a bunch of really awesome content to the game. While at the same time, we get a very cool new thing to play. And that's exactly what we all want at the end of the day. We all want to have more fun while playing Black Ops 3. And not to say it's a bad game. I've said time and time again, I think Black Ops 3 is one of, if not the best Call of Duty to ever release. But I still think it'd be cool. Something they could improve on would be adding grief mode to zombies sometime in the near future. Ladies and gentlemen, that is going to conclude my video. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. Please drop me a rating and let me know in the comment section below, would you guys play grief? Would you play grief? Because I know I would for a fact. I definitely would. It's one of the best ways to play zombies in my own personal opinion. It adds so much replay value to the game. It's absurd. And I think it'd be fun if they were to add it, especially with Rise and Draha out now. I think it'd be very fun if we could go ahead and have grief on this map. But regardless, this, ladies and gentlemen once again that is going to conclude the video i hope you guys all enjoyed it drop me a rating and i hope you guys all have a wonderful day